guys it's the Macintosh guide and I'm back again with a brand new video now in the previous two uh, videos you saw that I installed Windows 11 via Parallels desktop and a video about the features of Windows 11 compared to Mac OS Ventura now some of you guys are Intel Mac users so am I and I thought I'd show you how to install Windows 11 via Boot Camp now Boot Camp only officially supports Windows 10 However, I'll show you guys how to install Windows 10 and then be able to upgrade to Windows 11 on an Intel MacBook Pro. So let's get ready and get straight right, into it. You guys are now on my MacBook Pro. This is a 2019 15 inch model, uh, fully maxed out. So what you guys will need is you will need the Windows 10 22H2 download. You can get this from Microsoft sites so if we go to google.com just to just to make things easier and then you just type in windows 10 click on the first link and then it should allow us to see an option for download update 22 h2 edition so all you need to do is select the edition click confirm wait a few seconds choose the language english you know international for myself confirm and then it should ask you a version so there you go so 32 bit or 64 in our case will be 64 you download it and I've got it right here on my desktop guys then what you need to do is you need to open up boot camp assistant click continue and then it's going to be removing some cached iCloud files for some reason um, you need to adjust to the size you want it to so in my instance I want 250 gigs to be associated to Windows. Choose the file, so in my instance, my Windows 10 file, click open, and then click install. What I would suggest, guys, is just ensure that you're plugged in to the mains um, because it will take a bit of time. So click on install, and then it will, this will take a couple of minutes for it to, to download the Windows support software. So once this is done, guys, I will push you over to my phone and we shall go through the setup process for Windows is 10. Downloading the support software, you guys might be wondering why are we doing Windows 10? Why are we, I thought this video is about Windows 11. Guys, trust me, you need to be able to download Windows 22 H2 first. This is the easiest way. So as soon as you download Windows 10 H22 H2, you install it through Bootcamp, go through the Bootcamp process and then we need to do a little bit of a fiddly fiddle tool um, that I'd like to say which will allow us to install Windows 11 as an upgrade so trust the process guys I will ensure that you guys will successfully get Windows 11 in so boot camp has now restarted and took us into the Windows 10 setup so you set up as normal guys click next I don't have a key in my instance and then select whatever version you want so I want Windows 10 Pro next and then it should just be as easy as accepting the terms next and then it'll copy windows files and get and do all of this jazz so once this is complete guys I'll, and i've set up windows 10 i'll then show you what you need to do next Now that we've booted into Windows 10, you'll see Boot Camp Installer showing up. All we need to do is click on Install, Accept, Install, and then it will take a couple of minutes for this to finish up. This will install all the drivers that we will need for Windows 10. Um, and these drivers will also work in Windows 11 as well as far as my testing, guys. So once this is finished up, I'll come back to the screen for more further updates that you guys need to ensure. That so you now that we've installed the boot camp driver at the beginning, it should restart the machine. But what you guys now need to do is press the Windows key, which is the command key in this instance on the Mac keyboard and click on Apple software update. 
as soon as you click on that guys it will open up the software update tool that's pre-installed via bootcamp and you will see a first batch of updates will be available 6.1.13 and 6.1.14 install these items press yes and it'll go through and download both the items they're very small so it will download quite quickly so as we did before guys just click on the windows icon again apple software update and check for new software again and it will pull up two other updates for us as you can see here so 6.1.17 and 6.1.19 so booted back into windows 10 all we need to do is just type in check for updates press enter and it will take us to the windows update page so this will show us there are numerous updates that are available some of them will fail but most of them will succeed and then once all of them are in the phase of it needs to be it's pending and restart then obviously do a restart guys um these are the only couple of last this is literally one of the last steps that we need to do then i'll show you guys what we need to now do to install windows 11 so we're finally getting there guys we are getting there so guys once all the updates are done we then need to go to this google drive link where you will find a windows 10 install windows 11 install and an upgrade tool so the first thing you need to download is this windows 11 21 h2 file this is important it's okay it's in this google drive location and the second thing you'll need to download from this location is going to be the windows 11 upgrade tool now i've already linked the windows 11 upgrade github location and the other file guys you will need is the media creation tool as well from github so once you've downloaded all three of them we are ready to proceed to the next so guys once the files have been downloaded the two files you'll just need to extract so extract all and extract and that will open up a new folder and the other folder that we need to extract is this one the media creation one and just extract all extract boom that's done for us so we can now technically send these to to the recycling bin so guys the first thing you will need to do is click on the media creation tool click on the folder click on bypass 11 and click on skip underscore tpm underscore check on underscore dynamic underscore update so double click on that press yes and then it will say here it will say skip tpm check on dynamic update v10 installed run again to remove so there you go so then it will disappear on its own if not just press any key so that's the the bypass for this tpm has now been installed and then all we need to do guys is double click over here on the windows 11 upgrade click on the windows 11 upgrade tool click on more info click on run anyway click on yes and then all we need to do is select the windows 11 iso file which is on our desktop so if i go to desktop over here windows 11 english open and guys the most important thing is you click on upgrade now as soon as you click on install system it will be initializing so it'll take a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds in this instance and there you go it's preparing the upgrades you guys can probably tell it's going through the installation process for windows 11 you can here see at the top it says windows server with installing windows server just ignore that guys but it's chugging along nicely it's currently just got to about 59 percent once this is done guys it will reboot a couple of times and then you will have an installation of windows 11 and guys here's just a speeded up clip of windows 11 being installed so yeah just very very quick it took about five minutes
for the shoddy camera work in that speed up guys but we have now made it into Windows 11 so click return and we should we are now seeing some screens getting ready for you now booted into Windows 11 as you can tell everything is working touch bar works if I click touch cup touch bar works as you can saw brightness works the volume controls work so yeah guys everything works absolutely fine in Windows 11 as you can tell all the notification tray is up it's talking about the Radeon drivers information like that the Wi-Fi everything works guys flawlessly even the new search icon so yeah that's it, it's very very easy to install guys it, it's a bit of a long-winded process but it's not technically um, impossible to do it's not difficult at all as you guys saw from all the steps but yeah that's how you install Windows 11 on a Intel MacBook Pro now this is obviously on a 15 inch as you saw on the 2019 model um, your results may vary depending on the how old your machine is this is obviously all the bootcamp drivers work absolutely fine that were installed in Windows 10 so yeah guys you shouldn't really be seeing any issues I'm going to show you guys the specifications of my machine so as you can tell it's showing up everything correctly the Intel i9 32 gigs of RAM and you can also see it showing Windows 11 Pro 21 H2 model. Now you can get 22 H2 installed as well. You just need to do the same process as we did in Windows 10. However, you need a 22 H2 file for Windows 11. And yeah, everything is working absolutely fine. We're seeing good, good performance from the machine. I feel like it's working better than uh, actual machines manufactured from Dell and everyone. So yeah, bootcamp is really, really good. Um, but yeah guys this is using all windows 10 drivers uh, and yeah it just works like how you want windows 10 to be working so guys i just wanted to show you that you can go back into mac os without an issue you just need to click on restart in mac os click ok the pc will restart it will take a couple of seconds depending on if there's an update it needs to do and then it should show us the Apple logo in a couple of seconds. There's the chime. And it's loading, it's loading, it's loading. It does take a bit of time on Intel machines. But boom, we're back into Mac OS Catalina that, this, that I was running on this machine. So yeah guys, it works, it works absolutely flawless. So that's how you get Windows 11 installed on a 15 inch 2019 MacBook Pro. Now you could get this installed on any other Intel based Mac machine. In this instance, obviously I was using this one your results may vary, however, guys. Um, some older machines might give you a bit of a fuss, but obviously in this instance, it worked out absolutely fine for me. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, guys, please leave a like and, of course, leave a comment as well. And, yeah, guys, if you did enjoy this content and more future content is, of course, going to be coming, please do subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.